Greetings, folks. We're going to look at something really interesting today. <clears throat> uh, this is an original balanced action, a 29,000 29, series um, balanced action. Um, these, these things are so rare uh, to find a real original example um, like this. I mean, as you can see, um, that's, well, it's kind of shiny here, so it's a little hard to see, but the engraving is uh, very sharp and deep, and this is how they look. And there's your uh, your little uh, vacation scene there. What do we got? We got uh, the sailboat and the mountains. All right. And uh, these are just super rare. I mean, they're so old that uh, most of them have been relacquered, etc. Which is, you know, not a bad thing. Maybe they needed it, but... Uh, you know, just to find a, a, a really nice original example. I mean, look at the, the bell. It's never been dinged. The neck, it's perfect. Um, I was so lucky to get this one. I, I've had it for quite a while. It wasn't a recent thing that I got. Um, I mean, the bow, it's got a couple little dings, but it's pretty much perfect. Um, and it's just amazing. Uh, the, the thing is, um, these horns were made without resonators. They don't have any resonators in the pads. I don't know if that's going to be visible. Well, there you go. You can sort of see they're just big leather pillows. There's no resonators. Um, there never were. They're like uh, rivets at best. Let me see. Are there any rivets? Yeah, it's got little tiny rivets on the pads. Um, and uh, so this is and this is uh, the original pads. Nothing's ever been done to it. I just got it. It was a it was a raw find, you know, out of somebody's attic. And um, I'm gonna overhaul this one and set it up really beautifully with big domed uh, metal resonators. Uh, they play amazing that way. But the, the thing that's really kind of freaky is uh, when you play this horn, I mean, um, you know, I, I like all the other vintage Selmers, the, the Super Action and the Mark VI and, and all that. Uh, they're great, but I mean, the Balanced Action was just such a pinnacle of, of craftsmanship and, and design. I mean, these horns... They play amazingly well. In some ways, it's almost like... I don't know if they ever topped to this. I don't know if they ever did better than the balanced action. It's, it's, they're so good. Um, this horn plays on original pads, and it plays really well. Uh, it'll play amazing with resonators and actual pads that aren't, you know, crusts of mold and fungus. Um... But uh, it plays really well, and the thing is, it has no resistance. It's just a free blowing. It's like a it's like a big um, luxury Cadillac. Amazing, um, and not uh, not overly spread. I mean, they're kind of uh, compact, and w once you put the resonators in, they're kind of bright. Um, it's a little bit uh, surprising. But this so this is the before video. I'm I'm just getting ready to to start working on this. I got to finish um, one other horn, and then I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, for myself. Anyway, I'm going to play this with, with, a, with a straight signature Florida hard rubber link. Nothing shy about this horn. Thank 
it's a it's just an amazing thing to play. Very satisfying on these shitty old pads. subtone on there for me it's going to complain a little bit uh because uh, you know i wouldn't subtone on those shit pads either but something's vibrating <laughs> i don't know what it is there it is it's my all right my uh side c key vibrating just blowing open light springs Gonna be a monster there it is this is the before video i'll check back in three years when i'm done with the overhaul thanks for watching